Oh wow, a wizard. I wonder what he has to say. Huh. That's weird. Probably nothing too important. Every great game has a dialogue system. Elder Scrolls lets you click on people and pull up a text box to talk to NPCs. Pokemon lets you talk to all the trainers and gym leaders and store clerks and... <laughs> nurse joys. Terraria even lets you talk to all the little people you trap in their houses. Even Minecraft. Wait, no. Nah. Never mind. When a player wants to learn a bit more about the world they're in, they'll probably want to talk to the locals. So we need to slap some mouths on them and put some texts in some boxes. So my current solution to this is if you click on them, it'll just show what they have to say. Oh, um, uh, okay, so now it'll just show it above their heads. There are a couple problems though, and the first is that it isn't in a box at the bottom of the screen. And after following this tutorial, we've got a box that obviously doesn't work. Why would it? That would be too easy. The tutorial was for an older version of Godot, and for some reason I can't open files? I'm not sure. It's fine, I didn't want to do it that way anyway. Instead, we want to make sure each individual object holds its own script in its metadata. Okay, so text in a box, and it appears all fancy-like. But first there's something I want to add. Nice. Now we can just make the text appear when the player interacts with someone, right? Well, it looks like it's working, but where's the typewriter effect? Wait, did it just skip a line of dialogue? Okay, so why isn't it skipping that now? What's going on? Okay, okay, we've got one guy that can talk when you go up to him, and this other guy should talk as well. Okay, okay, awesome. So the whole dialogue system basically works. Now we can just implement it into the game. So the system works by setting the variables in a dialogue box to the variables of a talking guy, and then showing the box when it has something to say and hiding it when it doesn't. Different sections are just separated by commas, which makes it easy to break into a list, but also means I can't include commas into the scripts. Which is fine, I probably don't even need them anyway. So why is this system bad? Well, first, obviously, you can't use commas, but you also have to restate every name for every line of dialogue, and the connection between the world and the dialogue taking place really just isn't there and it ends up just a load of tricks happening behind the camera to make it look like it's working, while it could be a much more modular system. There's also just a load of manual checks I'm doing in the script, like if its name is the wizard, then at the end of the script, it will teleport you, which definitely is not very scalable. Also, if you want a character to change what they have to say after something is done, I have to manually code that in based on the names and the tags. But hey, I'm still learning Godot, so maybe one day I'll fix it. So that's how not to add a dialogue system. But you know what? For a game jam, it works. And speaking of game jam, this actually was an entry to a game jam, and it's already finished and been submitted, and you should go check it out. It's kind of a demo. I think I'm gonna continue to work on it. You should definitely go check it out and rate it highly in the jam. I'd really appreciate that, and yeah, subscribe.